Hello, this is a quick one for Gonzalo from Portugal. I just wanted to encourage to try the um, old style Pearl Simulator 2004 and how to um, um, how to get new personalities for this. What you need is from the Avolight side, uh, software downloads Pearl 2000. Now go, just go to downloads and here if you scroll down you will get the Perl 2004 simulator. Just click and you will be carried to another page which gives some instructions. This is interesting for Windows 7. Um, I can't say anything about Windows 10 at the moment because my machines at home are only Windows 7. So maybe it's slightly different for Windows 10. There is a password you will need in order to install and that's it. What else you need is you go to Evolize Personalities, so personalities.evolize.com. Then you go to Perl 2008-2010 Tiger and download the Personality Library Installer 1 and 2. Here, 2. These are the two things you need. Okay, this is what I did just a couple of minutes ago. Then, yeah, this is what we will see in a minute. I just close it again. Okay, here are the three things I have downloaded. For the simulator, you do a right click, go to properties, um, compatibility, and you let it run as Windows XP version, then you can install it. So this is the one thing. Now you can start it, so it just has uh, installed like uh, the Perl Exo, a little help file and a readme file and the two compressed personalities which are not required anymore. Now we start something which is the Perl 2004 simulator, click and here it is. Okay, I just wiped everything. We can do it again. Go to system, service, wipe, wipe all. Now our virtual console is blank. Next thing is to patch something. Patch, choose a fixture. And now a browser window pops open. I show you something before we proceed. I close it again. Yeah, just closed. Here are the two downloaded personality files. If I double click one, okay, I start it. Execute. It says the fixture library version of today and the contents about show through to miscellaneous L. Next, and this is the folder where it will install the libraries. This takes some minutes because it's just thousands of files. That's why I skipped this step here because I have already done it a couple of minutes ago. I show it, we go to C, Avolites, Fixtures. This is just uh, where it installed the things. R20. And this is where I put the whole things. Okay, and now we go to Perl Simulator again. Here we are. And now we can go to Patch, choose a picture, which opens the little window. Go to C, Avaloids, Fixtures, R20, 
And now I can scan it for just the manufacturer I want, say for Martin. And go for OK. Now it says indexing fixtures. Please wait. Read like 300 something instruments. This is a Martin. Martin, Martin, go. Come on, more, more. These are all the fixtures I have just read from the personality library. Can try if we find something familiar. Martin M101 Macora and so on and so on. Let's take the 301, for instance. Wash. Yes, please. And patch it here. That's it. Quick. And we have it here. And we can locate it. We could even try if we can get it into the visualizer. As long as the visualizer is installed on the, on the same machine, it might work. So we are in the design mode, then we go to moving it, then we select a fixture which is Martin Mac 300. Hmm. Should really have to look here. Here, 301. Wash. Let's guess it's a compressed mode. I'm not sure. Add one. And. Okay. Here's our fixture. And now we go to run mode and simulator. And now we can try. I, I have no idea if it works. Select a fixture and moving light menu. Locate. Here we go. Well, maybe I have the wrong mode. That's why it's uh, yellow uh, instead of white. But um, at least it works a little bit, kind of. So, and I'm sure if you had the correct fixture, then it would work correctly. Can try it. To it. At least tilt works and pan works as well. So, yeah, happy programming. And again, just download the personalities, install them, and have fun.